Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest invention in human history, perhaps with the exception of electricity, guess the ELO. As always, this is going to be an eclectic mix of games. There are blunders, there are brilliancies, there are plot twists, there is so much chaos, uh, and as, as always, every single one of these games makes me sick to my stomach. Um, and uh, you're going to learn how to play chess in these games, you're going to learn not how to play chess in these games, and before we jump into them, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. Look, people, there is a secret that I haven't shared with you to improving your chess elo. It's not practicing your tactics, it's not studying openings or tricky gambits, and it's even not diligently reviewing your endgames. All of those things are great, but the true secret to gaining elo in chess is smelling absolutely fantastic. Yes, you need to smell at the elo that you want to achieve, but Oftentimes, if you want to buy a high-end cologne, you're kind of waiting around hoping someone's gonna give it to you as a present, because those things can cost upwards of 150, 300, even $500 for a bottle. But with Scentbird, every single month, you get to choose a designer fragrance for a fraction of the price. And actually, the lovely folks at Scentbird sent me three of these amazing vials this month. I received Michael Kors Extreme Speed, Tommy Bahama Maritime, and Commodity Milk Plus. And that's the amazing thing about Scentbird. There's large brands, which obviously you will know, and some smaller ones, which have very interesting scents as well. And before you get started with any of this, you can take a very simple quiz on the Scentbird website that will allow you to discover your own style. For me, the best of the three was the Michael Kors Extreme Speed. So to get started with Scentbird today, click the link in my description. You'll receive 55% off your first order, which comes out to $7. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, game time. First game of this episode of Guess the Elo is brought to you by whatever sponsor I decided to put in this intro. And we have uh, E4 uh, from White. And yeah, I mean, listen, um, this is uh, well-known stuff, all right? <laughs> this is well-known well stuff. That's the commentary that we're providing here, all right? That's the, it's, it's a, it's a well-known stuff, all right. So, um, Black plays the move uh, D6. E4, D6, you know, well-known stuff, good stuff. Knight F3, Knight F6, and we get our first piece of information, Bishop to C4. It only took us three moves of this game to narrow down our rating range by a lot. Like, by a lot, a lot, all right? Like, uh, yeah, um, probably triple digits, all right? Knight takes e4, right? Just winning a, a calm piece here, and everything is good. Knight g4. Okay, so that's just two pieces in the first four moves gone, off the board. This is the problem when you watch one of my videos and you just try to fried liver people. Folks, this is definitely a, a double digit game. Uh, this is a game of like a 97 rated player with white. White watched one fried liver video and was like, well, this is just going to win. I got to play these four moves no matter what. I got to play them absolutely no matter what. Cool. All right. Now, do you see that your knight that you just put there is hanging? Okay. Very nice. Now, the hard thing is that you've blocked your setter, but you can play this and this because obviously you played this, which means you play King's Indian. So your next three moves better be this. Nice. Okay, I kind of hate you because you went, like, bro, white it literally giving up every piece for nothing, for completely free. Absolutely free, all right? But you decided, you know what? I had enough taking of their pieces. Okay, so this is obviously a game of people between six and 700 because seven to 800 would be cerebral enough to see these one move blunders. Because when you're 7800, you've already learned to hit the pause button in the opening, you know? To hit that pause button and that subscribe button, by the way. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just really bad, you know? But, but there's, there's just, it's still hanging. Oh, finally! Wow! White hung that bishop for one, two, and three straight moves. And finally, it got taken and black has a seven point advantage. All right, G3. Now, why, why'd you have to go and do this? 
You... Why? You did so well. Why did you have to lose the night? Come on! You know what the craziest thing is? You know what the craziest thing is? White didn't even take. White hung another pawn and now the bishop. Bro, black is up 9 points of material after playing 12 moves. This is, this is a top 3 worst ever game I've ever seen in Guess the Elo. Alright. C6, nice, you're up a knight, bishop, but you play a pawn, okay. Yo, this person has a fetish for the f7 square. My god. b5. Oh, it's mate! Oh, it's not mate. Wow, it's crazy that white even got this close, you know? Like, crazy. All right, so now, I mean, you got a lot of good moves. That's a good move. Just take it. Just, just yeah, you're up. Just take. You're up so much material. Oh, does white hang the queen? Almost. White almost hangs the queen. And now black is just up everything. Black literally... Okay, <coughs> white blundered 10, 11, 14, 17, 18, 19. White lost 19 points of material in this game. I think white is 600. There, there, I mean, there is there, between like low 600, five, high 500. Because if white is even one rating point above that, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Um... I mean, that's just nonsense. Uh, this is not who's playing white. White is 11-17. No. Nope. 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 No way. No chance. No chance. Do you, do you know each other? Repio for I refuse to believe. I think that's your friend. Repio, Re nope. That was a real game. Yo, you played someone who got banned for cheating. <laughs> All right, I don't know what's going on. Nah, no, 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 no. That's that. I mean, I mean that. That is that is that is that is that was that's that's garbage that is literally atrocious that's awful that's stupid that's i got nothing to say uh that is uh, a catastrophe i was gonna say you played well you didn't make any blunders i did was your opponent beyond drunk like i was your opponent just hella blasted i mean did they did your opponent let their sibling that like is like a 100 play? I mean, that was unbelievably bad. Wow. All right, we're off to a good start. Time control doesn't matter. The time control is brain dead. D4. Yeah, the, exactly. The opponent's younger brother was beyond drunk. All right, a London. It's not a guess the ELO episode without a London. All right? So bishop f5. Now, what you do against this is you take advantage of the weakened queen side. And you play the move c4, which I actually really like that white did in this game. Look at that. And now black plays b6. Black is worse. Uh, this is just really bad for black. Um, the move bishop f5 really has to come with another London setup. All right, so you gotta, you know, like, you can't reinvent the wheel. You can't play g6 and then, b like, b6 doesn't even do anything. So white plays this, this. And so now white should probably do some stuff over here. Um... And just try to, you know, there's also knight b5 in the Jobava London style uh, with a tactical idea. b6 is a really bad move. The move b6 destabilizes all the light squares. So if this happens, this now doesn't defend either of these two squares. And, uh, you know, queen a4 is nasty. It, it hits this and this, and uh, black could lose right away. I mean, it could get real bad. I mean, b6 is just... So bad. But let's see what white does. Bishop d3, I don't hate. All right, wasting another bishop move. Like, if you really wanted to move the bishop, when the bishop goes to f5, you do not move it to g4 again. You put the bishop there to take the bishop. That is why it's there. And then castle, all right? So, this is so bad. 
Now, what I would do here is I would just play h3. I would just be like, where are you going to go now? Here you get trapped, and then here you're just adding the pressure, right? So it's worth attacking this bishop if it has nowhere to go. Um, now, you know, again, h3 is good. Putting the rook on the c file, playing on the d and c lines is very good in queen's pawn positions. And now, white, who saw black do that, does this. Except this move is less stupid because you want to take this and take this pawn. So here's e6. Take, take, and now rookie one. Uh, but black is slowly getting back into the game. Um, white here does something real bad, which is take the knight. And I really don't like this move because you're relying on this, but what if this? You just gave up the bishop for no reason at all, right? So when in doubt, you know, bring another piece to the party. Uh, take on c5, dc, bc, maybe h3 again. Uh, this would be great if you don't lose a queen, you know? So, yeah, but you won the pawn, so you're a genius. I mean, don't give up the bishop. Like, if you see bishop f6, queen f6, knight d5, that doesn't mean play it, that means hold on, because that might not happen, right? Um, also, I just realized, uh, for this episode, I think our, our, uh, yeah, there we go. We're gonna zoom into the engine lines. There we go. I didn't reactivate chat. I think I, I think it just... Twitch sometimes gets glitchy too in the middle. But you guys can type something to show your energy. I think chat got so wound up over that last game. They decided they were done for this one. Uh, so this is attacking this. We can obviously defend it or move it. It's not complicated. Okay, we defend it. CD, ED. Yeah, and this pin is proving really superior. So... A while back, when that bishop went there, it was probably time to just ask what the, like, now what? It's just, it's called asking the bishop a question. Why is it there? What are its intentions, right? Just what, what, what is the idea? Like, why are you standing there, right? Uh, H3 is always a good opportunity uh, to ask, because now that bishop survives most of the game, and you lose your queen! Bro. You know what the craziest thing is? You know what the crazy, uh, the, the crazy thing is? After knight e5, you're actually better. Because you have two attacks. So... Gotham sub, how did you do this? How did you just... Wow. Okay, and somehow you walk through fire and your pawn's on d6. Knight e7, check. All right, now you got to find a way to push this pawn through. Yes, you hang not just the queen, but a rook on that square. Wow, this is incredible. You guys have so far blundered 33 points of material in this episode. d7, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, but that pawn is so strong. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. And you're winning. Incredible. Check. Okay, I would have just forked the king and the bishop here. That's the easiest thing. 98 check to the middle. But uh, this is also good. Bro, what are you doing? You have an extra knight. Use it, bro. Thank you. Okay. So, opening wasn't bad, but was very solid. I definitely don't get high-rated vibes. I get like 1,100 vibes. Uh, <coughs> and 1,100 who just accidentally uh, had a little diarrhea on the table right here. Because the, 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 the opening is a little bit too... It's not good enough to be 1,300. So I'm going to say like 1,100. Uh, 1,100 or mid to high 1,000. So I'm going to say my range is about... 10, 50 to 11, 10. About a 60-point range. Average rating of the two players. Let's go see what we get. I, I, I think that's pretty fair. Wow. 840? You played very, very well for 840. Wow. You played very well. All right, now your hanging of a queen is justified. I'm actually kind of shocked it took you this long to hang a queen. I mean... When you're rated 840, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, when you get car sick at the beginning of a long car ride and you don't vomit, 
Like, I'm shocked it took you 18 moves to vomit, but then you swallowed it. Sorry if you're eating. And then you just didn't barf the rest of the... Oh, you, okay, you had a burp. Rook D1. You know, you, you, and then you just played so well. You played so well. Good job. Well done. You should be proud. Honestly, I thought, I thought you were a lot higher rated than you are. Not bad. There goes dinner. I mean, I'm telling you, you know, you, you listen, you played very well. How do I come up with this stuff? I mean, you know, you know, it's, it is what it is. And it, it do what it be and it be what it do. This game looks really dumb. This game looks really dumb. Yes. Yes. E5. Oh, beautiful. Yes. This is the content right here. E5. And now white responds with, a uh, black responds with E6. And now we have F4. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Knight E7. Yes, G4. And black is just winning on like move seven. Okay, amazing. No, black is not winning. Oh, although C5 is, wow, amazing. What a game. What a game. Um, this is so bad. So when you get hit with E5, just play normal. Attack in the center. Don't attack with... Because F6 is um, really, th this is kind of like very hopeful. Uh, and E6 just doesn't even do anything. Like you got to attack the thing that's crossing the middle line. And when you just let your opponent get... Okay, G5. Okay, so G5 is not a good move. Um, but it's very annoying. It's not a good move because uh, the play is like halted. But black now has very clear plan of action over here with C5. And so black should continue to build on that queenside pressure. Of course, when you take immediately, you no longer have any pressure. So now white is just doing very well. Oh my god. Um, yeah, now, now white's game plan looks really smart. See, when you let your opponents get... I talk about this a lot. When you let your opponents get away with garbage, like this, and you don't do anything about it, like literally, you just don't confront them on this at all, they're just going to keep stealing from you, right? I mean, if you don't confront someone who's, who's a thief, they're going to keep play, right? So, all right. Okay, you are, you are busted. If white plays queen here, queen here, I don't know how you're going to survive this game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, king f2. That's fancy. You should ask yourselves the fastest way to bring the queen, right? All right? I mean, yo, I don't know what black is up to over here. Black is out here trying to... I mean, you just playing some obscure moves, my, my, my dude. Now, why is white playing on this side? What is white doing? That is not where white is stronger. Okay, knight a c6. All right, we go back. All right. Okay, so white should play bishop c5, so there's no b4. Oh, that's... Oh, ew! What... Why would you ever trade this? This is so bad. I mean, come on. Also, thank you to BGH. I missed that. Appreciate the, uh, appreciate the sub. Completely missed that. My bad. Um, so I guess White did this because they wanted to win time, but come on, this is like a four-point bishop. <clears throat> what is... I mean... Oh, timely move. So if Black played HG here, Black would have lost. Uh, white would have just gone here, and white would have went on to win this game with no problems. Uh, but because black fights back now with the F-pawn, all right, now, now we're in good shape. All right? So knight back to e2. Knight b4. Thank you, robust young soul. Appreciate that. Gifted subs. They don't deserve it. Oh, my. Oh, what the... Wait a minute. Wait, if this, then this. And if this, then this. Now, I know the engine says it's still winning, but you saw that? Oh, wow. A lot of stuff happening today. Shout out to uh, John Bartholomew for the raid. We're doing some guest to ELO. What? You saw that? Are you cheating just for this one move? Oh my! Okay, well that's not a good move. You did not need to... You could've just... Wow. 
Incredible. Wow. What is going on in this game? Knight C2. Oh my. Who's winning? Queen takes D4 is winning for black, but they, they go here. <clears throat> Yo, knight E2 wins. This game is unreal. Queen D3, rook F4 is GG. Oh my. Okay. Um, that was an insane game, y'all. That was crazy. Like, white just played so stupidly in the opening. Or, white is cheating, because these are stockfish moves. I don't know. Um, white played so much aggressive stuff, and then proceeded to do nothing with it, and just totally lost their train of thought. How did that happen? Wow. That was really sophisticated. Um, God, that counterplay by Black, that defense was honestly really good, not freaking out. I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say like 1400. Like 14, 1500. I think that White played a really garbage opening and it really threw Black off, but Black played so calm in the face of danger and then i mean oh i mean this is an incredible move are you kidding me this is an amazing move yeah i'm gonna say like 14 1500 let's see 1600 1660 by white by the way hashtag memes 1626 by black wow even higher holy crap damn dude i mean honestly i didn't say you were 1600 just because the game was so ridiculous i was like wow and white lost on time it really felt like the game was a time scramble wait white didn't lose on time oh wait white did lose on time what oh look at this white got tilted and stalled his clock out to one second look at this he got so mad he stalled his clock and then lost. What a baby. And then he ended up on Guess the Elo. <laughs> Amazing game. What a crazy game. Yeah, you did have a bad opening. Wow. I mean, I, I thought you were, uh, thought you were like 800 at, uh, in the opening. You let your opponent do everything. Then you fought back. Crazy game. Wow. Rook F4 was amazing. You got a lot of bonus points on that counterplay because a lot of low rated players, they would have melted. So a lot of players, when they get an attack coming their way, they're like, oh my god! But you did fine. You did fine. All right, e4. Oh, King's Gambit. This could be a high-level game. All right, this is not going to be a high-level game. Never mind. Um, okay, so this just loses to, to like a lot of moves like this. But maybe there's a Gambit here. Is this a gambit? Wow. Okay. Uh, well, uh, yeah, not taking this is good. You could just play like, yep, good. Oh, don't put your bishop where... No, now you could take. F-E. You also just go here. Don't... Don't put the bishop where it can just be attacked. Don't do this. Oh my god, what is your opponent doing? Oh, what? How the f- Why did your opponent not trade queens with you? Who do they think they're attacking? Folks, when you have a garbage pawn structure and you have really bad development and you can trade queens and win a little bit of time and derail your opponent's castling rights, take the damn queen. I mean, don't give a random queen check. Because then this happens and now you're defending again, and white just... Folks, you know when you play a gambit, like, the pawn it can take the other pawn, right? You play the gambit because you want them to take you, but you know you can take them too. You know that, right? No? That's, like, part of the pawn existing. It's a legal move. Anyway, oh my goodness. All right, we lose the E pawn. I want to throw up. This is so bad. Okay, knight f4, take. Bro, what do you know about gambits? 
You take and you get aggressive. This is how you play gambits. You need to go and create attacking possibilities. Attack, attack, attack. What the heck is queen d1? Oh my god, what is knight d3? Just trade the queen. Trade the queen. What is bishop c4? No, but this is, I mean, I mean, this loses a bishop two ways. Guys. Guys. I want to end the episode. I've never, I've, I've, I've never ended a guess the ELO episode before I looked at all the games. What even is bishop c5? I mean, my god. Goes back. He just goes back. He just wants to undo it. Knight bd2. You know what the craziest thing is? Black, yo, try bishop c5 again. Try bishop c5 again. Come on, maybe it'll work this time. Okay, you gotta get to this king, right? So knight h4 and queen h5. Open the door. Knight e5 maybe even works with queen h5 ideas. Yeah, apparently it does work. Okay, bishop a4, which is a great move that walks directly into a fork. And now you let your opponent castle. You think this is a fake game? You've accused every player so far of having a fake game. All right, we attack the knight. It doesn't get defended. Take the knight. Nice. Bishop d7. Take pawns. Free pawn in the middle. Nope. Free pawn in the middle. Free bishop. You just went here to add a layer of pressure to this piece, and your opponent literally removed the guard. Your opponent removed the parking brake while parking downhill. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, my god. Take the... Okay, queen e4. Easy. Thank you. Queen h7, mate in one, right? Queen h7. I mean, you just moved on that diagonal, and you play... This is why y'all... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my... Oh my. Oh my! Oh my! Take the bishop, bro. There is a hanging queen. Because the this is gonna hang. There's a hanging rook, maybe queen, and a bishop, and a king. Nah, nah, nah. You, this is a fake game. Fake game. No, no, no. This is a fake game. I don't even. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all faking. Nope. No. No, bro. Bro, you hung the queen. Bro, you really straight up hung the queen. No. Yo, is White gonna win this game? I'm dead, bro. I'm... I don't know. I don't know. Three to four hundred. Three to four hundred. This is an eight hundred? No, no, this is a fake game. No, no, you guys are not 800. No, you guys are, nah. Nope. 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 Nah, I refuse to believe this is a real game. Nope. I straight up don't believe this is a real game. Nope. I, 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 I don't think this, this game happened. Nope. I, YouTube, you tell me in the comments. You think this is a real game between two real people rated around 820 and 790? No chance. No chance. Who played this game? In, in my chat right now, confess. Which subscriber played this game? I want you to tell me how that happened. You really played that game? That is insane. This was from before you started watching me? Bro, that's a real game? Like, you're not joking. Please, swear on something. That was a real game? How did you... Nah, no, you were, you were... How did you play that bad? Why were you 800 playing that bad? I gotta make a video on that game. I think I'm gonna have to make a video. That, that was one of the biggest catastrophes. How did you not see those mates? Great. All right, Anglin Gambit. Nice. Okay, H5. Just end my pain.
Just end my pain. H5, bro. Really? Okay, so we're just gonna play a regular England Gambit, which is with the move H5 for some reason? Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yup. Alright, normal, normal, normal. Oh, your knight is trapped. Not normal. Folks, don't leave a knight with no, with no, no move. Anytime you move a knight, you gotta have a move for the knight next, okay? And uh, you don't, so you lose the knight. Nice! Okay, queen f3, let's guard this. Cool. Nice. So white is lost, but <clears throat> there's a lot of activity here. So what I would do is I would put my bishops on very active diagonals, and then e4, e5, I would march down the middle of the board and open things up. Nice. I don't know what queen e2 does, but I don't care. Oh. 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 God damn. God damn. Wow, that is a that is literally Stockfish's idea. Did you just boot it up for this little sequence here? Amazing. Beautiful. No, that's wrong. No, no. You you got to look at this. You're winning. If you just follow the yellow brick road. Can you imagine white wins this game with queen e2, queen e1, bishop a5, bishop b6, queen a5? Wow. Wow, that is unbelievable. Queen g3. All right. Knight d5. Yup. We chilling. Okay, so you went the wrong way. Uh, wait, did you hang a queen? No. There was, it was a threat, but you didn't hang it. Okay, queen d4. You're still down a piece. Uh, c4? Okay. Okay, now you're threatening to take the knight and then take the bishop. Damn, that's unfortunate that they protected themselves. I don't know why Stockfish says you're better after bishop d3. Takes, takes. Okay, so you're still worse, but it's guess the elo, so that's, your, that's the only bonus that you have. Okay, you found it, but you're still lost. You have nothing. Good move. God, this is a tough game. This is a long game. Wow, rook f6, rook g2. Okay, you have to be losing. Bro, do you guys see this? Do you guys see what move saves the game here for white? Check here, and it's a draw. It's a box. It is a box. I've never seen that in my... What? It's just a box. It doesn't matter who blocks. It is a permanent box. That is insane. It's just a box. It's a non-stop square box. What the hell? Have you ever seen a draw like that? That is crazy. Okay, obviously that doesn't happen. Okay, so black is winning. Oh, they hang their queen. You know what's nuts? Queen a5 is mate. Wow. So, queen a5 is even, is a mate, but they don't see that. What it, bro, please tell me you mouse slipped. Please tell me you did not try to bring a rook into the game. <coughs> and instead of putting it on any of the three open files, please tell me this is a mouse slip. What? Huh? Huh? He's trying to push... Okay, just just end end me now. What? Yo, he hung his queen. This has to be a time scramble, right? Has to be. There's gonna be another massive blunder. It's coming. I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. Okay, check. Picks up the rook. Gets the dub. Gets the dub. Gets the dub. Gets the dub. Okay. Uh. 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 Honestly, it was a pretty sophisticated game. I have to give you some props. So I want to say like, I want to say like 1,200. 1,200 in time trouble. Uh, let's go see. 1,300, 1,300, bro, 1,300? Hey, it's full screen Gotham again. If you made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments below what your favorite flower is because no one's gonna know what the heck you're talking about. 
Uh, Sendbird asked me to remind you all at the end of the video uh, to click the link in the description uh, to get 55% off your first order. It's only $7. Peace out. I'll see you in the next Guess the Elo episode. Get out of here.